Matthew 6, 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, he's he's gonna make sure we get it. We wanna make sure we get it. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble on its own. Happiness is not consuming wealth, my friends. Jesus says it's distributing it. Acts 20, verse 35, is more blessed to give than to receive. He's calling us to be giving for happiness in our lives, in relationships, in the adventure that we choose to seek out, and with the significance that we choose to build our life on. Jesus says, seek first my kingdom, the church, and my righteousness, and then you're going to get it all. Some of us are running for all of it and missing happiness. He's like, you want happiness? Seek my kingdom. Seek the church. Seek my righteousness. Grow in me. Know me. And you're going to get significance. You're not going to look back on your life and be like, oh, I missed it. You're going to look back on your life and you're going to be like, I'm happy. I'm Bible version happy. The key to paying off debt or having less stress concerning money. The key to less tension in relationships about money. The key to perceived and felt freedom about money and finances. The key to health and the way that we look at finances is all in our attitude. And Christ says, hey, these things are together. Your pursuit of your happiness and the way that you spend your money, they're together. Seek me first. Put me first. Come after me first, and it's gonna work out. I would say this. This is your time for happiness. Regardless of what your past has been like, physically, if you're like, man, I've done drugs that have messed with the way things fire in my brain, and I'm used to dopamine, just like this. Dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. And I'm just desensitized to it now. I can't be happy, says my doctor. It's physiologically impossible for me to be happy because of the things I've put in my body. Anything that Jesus has done before, he can do again. And we call him healer because he actually heals. Amen? I don't want to follow another Jesus. I want a healing Jesus. In your heart, you've been chasing happiness. And it's just not working. It's just been bad. And instead of happiness, you've got wrecked around you. And he's like, hey, before you start to sing to me, before you start to worship with your life, know this, relationships, my way. Delight in my word, understand its value. And be like a tree that's planted by the water that doesn't die out. Psalms is a book, it's it's an archway. It's a doorway that you walk through. Before you can worship God with your life, You have to understand biblical happiness.